This is the end for you, Victor. The victim's name was Victor Pavlovich Buhai. The documents say so, but we shall wait for the confirmation of the pathologists. Mm -hmm. What can you say about the damage of the car? Let's see here. Uh, the roof took the main blow. The front window cracked, but there is no blood inside. Mm -hmm. It means that he was not killed in the car, but close by, and then what happened was the body and the car there was thrown into the, the cliff. <laughs> Judging from the position of the body, it was thrown off the cliff somewhere right here. Go and work. Okay. I'm going to the laboratory. Mm -hmm. Hello. Hi, Carolina. Shall we go to the office in your car? The corporate party's tonight and we could take a taxi home. No problem. How's it going between you and Anna? Well, how else will it be? The divorce is the only right decision for both of us. In this case, we'll get a chance to build a new life, new relations, and live happily. Though we'll have to wait on that. Brother, you did everything that you could to save this marriage, but it didn't happen. You should keep on living. Besides, another woman found a place in your heart. I told you before, you chose the wrong sister. What are you going to do? Maybe I should talk to her and help her about my feelings. Well, she should know. This is the right decision. Moreover... Yana and Andri's relationship seems cloudy. First, they postponed their wedding, and now Andri is going to Poland to work. I think it's the end of the relationship. <sighs> Don't wait for too long. Talk to her as soon as possible. Good morning, everybody. Hello. Good morning. Hi. I just decided to drop in before work to see everybody. How's it going? Thank you, it's all right. Are you sure? You withdrew from the pre-election race, but it's all right. You wanted to become a deputy so much, and then suddenly, can you explain that? Because I, we're all worried here. I'm absolutely fine. I just decided that at present, it will be better this way. Uh, by the way, how is Yana doing? I heard that she was planning to move to Krakow. Yes. I think it's a wrong decision for her. She doesn't know the language. She wouldn't be able to find a decent job. What's she counting on? What is there to understand? After she confessed to faking and uploading the video, it will be hard for her to live in Cherkasi. The Amria TV and the Silicat Bud won't be happy to cooperate with her as she set the Dobrovolsky family up. The audience despises her, so she made the only possible wise decision to move to another country where nobody knows her. And I can continue with my political career later without fearing that my closest people will set me up again. That's enough. Shut up and don't dare talk about your sister in this way again. She set herself up and now she's forced to leave the country. Olya, why are you shouting at Anna? Don't worry if mom thinks that it was my fault. I won't try to convince her of the contrary. Maybe it's easier for her. This is what she will need at the new place. Take your money back. Your sister won't take it. Olya, what's going on? Yana will need the money until she finds a job. She has to live off something for a while. Do you hear me? I told you to take the money back. Don't you ever interfere in the life of your sister. If you have at least a drop of conscience left, come to your senses and lead a normal life for once. Don't bring your money here anymore. Wait! 
What was that? Can you explain it? I've never seen Oli like that before. She shouted at Anna so much that I thought she would hit her. Oh, Olya has changed so much recently. She's so cold to Anna, but she forgives everything that Yana does. It's so unfair. You think so? I do. Because she is... What? Tell me. You see... No family is ideal. Everybody has a skeleton in the closet. The family of Matvienko is no exception. Does your family have secrets? Tell me about them. No. How interesting. You got offended that I hid information about my son and my conviction. Honey, you have double standards. Tell me. Yuba, come here. Mom jumped at me like I'm an enemy. She said I was a beast for offending poor Anna. She should thank me for having her Anna safe and sound. <sighs> Don't wait for too long. Talk to her as soon as possible. Come in. Hello. Hi, Anna. I wanted to tell you something. Me too, may I? First... I want to apologize for my behavior and the problems that arose in your family because of me making that video public. I don't know why you did it, but I'm not mad at you. This is true. And this is second. You're leaving? Yes. I'm proud of my work in this company, but now I must go. The time has come to change my life radically. That's why I'm leaving my job and my country. With Andri? Yes. We're going to Krakow. They say it's a nice town. I hope I'll like it. When are you coming back? I didn't say I'd come back. Dennis, thank you. You... You were a great boss and colleague. I wish the best for you. Bye. Good luck. Good afternoon, girls. And you too, young man. Good afternoon. Hello. Good afternoon. Here, please read this and sign it until tomorrow. Yes, I've been warned. And, uh, I put something down here. Some ideas for the ads of the Cherkasi Silicat boot. Please have a look in your free time. I understand that this department is a place where real professionals work. But if you'd like to at least hear one of my ideas, I'll be very glad. If not, then I understand. Thank you, Henna. I'll have a look for sure. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Mm -hmm. Here you are. Uh. <laughs> Did I scare you? No. <laughs> it's all right. I wanted to talk to you yesterday, but I was very busy. About what? Do you know I'm leaving? Yes. Mm -hmm. Rumors spread faster than wildfire at the station. <laughs> I didn't mean that. Marina, I wanted to thank you. You were my best friend here. You were the only person who understood and supported me. Mm? <laughs> what? I'm just very glad, actually, that I have a friend like you. You know? I'm organizing a farewell party at the channel. Will you come? Do come. I... 
I want you to. How is it going? It's all right. Look here, there are clearly traces of tire tracks. Hmm? It's a good fragment. We'll be able to work on it. Mm-hmm. So, I wasn't mistaken. The victim, Victor Buhai, was killed and then thrown into the cliff right here. Hmm? We should take samples of the earth to look for blood. Our chances are small, taking into account that much time has passed. But still, don't sigh now. We will check and examine everything and hope that we'll get lucky somehow. Hmm. Get lucky. Of course. As always. Granny looked strict, but she was kind to me. <laughs> she adored me. She wanted me to study well at school and told me to bring only good grades. I remember one time I asked Dad to help me with math. He solved the problems instead of me. Then Granny came home <laughs> and found a lot of mistakes. I didn't tell her Dad did it. I could see that he was ashamed. Had a lot of wrong answers. Why are you crying? Why? <laughs> I just missed this so much. I don't know anything about you. And it can't be undone. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. You're leaving? Did someone offend you? I warned them all against it. No, 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 nobody offended me. It's just the circumstances. I see. First Andri, and now you. What do I do with the My Fortress show? Announce that we're looking for a host again? Look, Yana. Do I or somebody else have any chance of talking you into staying? No, Carolina, I've already handed a statement on my leave from Silicatbo to Dennis. I see. I'm also leaving the, the Maria TV as well. In the near future, I'll, I'll leave Ukraine. Well, we'll close my fortress then. I plan to update the program grid anyway. All the more reason. Thank you for your good work, Yana. And good luck at the new place. Thank you, Carolina. As you ask, here's the information about Anna's past. Here it is. She studied well at the university. She didn't date anybody else except for Dennis. After graduating from the university, she came back to Tricasi and worked for the silicate factory. The management thought highly of her work. After that, on weekends, she helps her mother with the restaurant, working as a waitress. Could she have been meeting somebody in secret by any chance? Did anybody visit her? At the hospital, except for her relatives? Did you find out? I did. Nothing suspicious. She was often visited by the members of the Matvienko family. The members of your family, Lesia Krilenko, her girlfriend and colleague from the office, Andrei Popovich, her sister Yana's boyfriend. And this is the entire list. I see. So, she used to be an angel before the wedding. So how come she suddenly becomes a greedy, selfish liar. I don't know how to explain it, but these are the facts. Before the wedding, Anna was a good girl. As opposed to her sister Yana, the latter, on the contrary, loved merry companies, nightclubs, drinks, and expensive clothing. Before her engagement to Popovich, she dated a couple of men. I'm not interested in what Anna's sister did or what her active personal life was. 
What else? Except that Anna was an excellent girl. That's it. Mm. I believe you know about her pregnancy before the wedding. Her pregnancy? When was that? Hmm? I talked to a nurse at the hospital. Her name is Ala, and she was the one who assisted Boris Atanovich during the surgery. I see. She said that the surgery became more complicated by the fact that Anna was pregnant at the time of the accident. Because of it, she miscarried. I thought that that was supposed to be Dennis's baby. The crash took place after Dennis's return to the Ukraine. Now, how long into the pregnancy was she? I don't know. Nobody showed me the medical file because it's prohibited. And the nurse doesn't remember anything. What should I do next? Take a rest for now. Thank you. Where are you going? To the cardiologist. I have a pre-scheduled visit today. Wait, wait, wait. What? Why don't I know about it? I forgot about it myself. But the uh, hospital, they called me and reminded me to come. Will it take long? No, I don't think so. Risha, wait a while. What? How are you feeling? Is something bothering you? No, just the weather. It's very hot and very hard to drive. Katrina Ivanovna, why are you worried? It's just a planned visit. Jana, I know my son. He's not the kind of person who is bothered by the weather. Have you made a list of the purchases? Not yet. Do it. Then I'll give it to the supplier. Enough running about the shops looking for trifles. Mm -hmm. If we don't do it, will you drive us away like Anna? What are you saying, Luba? Me? You should look at yourself. You jumped at poor Anna like a beast. What bad did she do to you? I'll... go breathe some fresh air. Go then. Come on. <sighs> Good afternoon. Danilo, how are you? Hi, Dad. I'm fine. Don't worry. Where have you been? I'll soon forget what you look like. Sorry, Al. I'll drop in on one of these days. Where are you now? Why are you asking? I have a lunch break, and if you're close... We... we could have a walk. Maybe talk about stuff, you know? No, I'm far away from the restaurant. I'm busy. I can't talk. No, you got it wrong. I'm with a friend. No, you don't know him. Bye. Have a good day. Hmm. He's so weird today. He sounds as if... He's got a bad mark at school. Maybe it's just me. I feel very uncomfortable. Because you and me... We shouldn't be lying to your father. It's all right. This is my decision, and it'll be better for everybody. Hannah, there's something... Could you please find out whether Claudia... or Lada is still in Cherkasia, or has already left? No, 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 nothing happened. I just want to check on one suspicion. You will? Thank you.
If you have problems with your nerves, drink some sedatives. You don't have the right to jump at the girls. Moreover, Anna came with good intentions. She wanted to help people. Luba, don't interfere. Anna is my daughter. I talked to her in the way I thought was appropriate. Go and cut the cabbages. Anna is my blood too. She's my niece too. So don't talk to her like this and don't offend her. I have my reasons as to why I talk to her like this. Then tell me, I want to understand it too. You don't have to know that. The main thing is, Anna understood my point. Olya, all my life, you were my closest and dearest person. We could talk about anything with you. We have never had secrets. But now, you changed so much. I'm not blind. I can see that something is going on, but I don't know what. Maybe you need help. Tell me, what can I do for you? Luba, I am not going to explain anything to you. Please come in. Sit down, Rihari Markovich. Thank you. What happened? Any problems? What can I say? Not really a problem, but... Uh, frankly speaking, I worry for my daughter-in-law's health. Now, my wife and I are actually looking forward to having a grandchild, but she miscarried. I don't know the reason behind her miscarriage lately, but it's not her first one, right? Yes. Anna did lose a baby in the crash. Um, can you tell me how forward she was in the pregnancy then, please? Okay, I'll tell you. Thank you. About seven weeks. Seven weeks. Thank you. Yes, there is no reason to worry. Anna had the first miscarriage, not because of some pathology, but uh, due to the crash. I don't know what provoked the second miscarriage, though. Seven weeks, huh? Now, if the baby was conceived two months before the crash, it means that it was not from Dennis. He was in the States at that time. It seemed a bit weird for me, too. What exactly? After the crash, a person named Andrei Popovich, who I recalled was Yana's groom, came to me and asked about the miscarriage during the crash. But not Anna's, instead Yana's. Uh, was Yana pregnant as well at that time? No, she was not. Andrew was mistaken. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Andrew, what a cool clearing. Thank you. Oh, yes. Let me tell you, you did well to risk it. After all, Europe is Europe. Let's drink for your success there and your continuous prosperity. Did you forget? I don't drink. Good for you. I'll drink then. For you. Guys, I'm so happy for you. When it's the wedding, after all. We haven't thought about that yet. Let us settle down in Krakow. Then we'll see. Marina, are you all right? Yeah, yes. Do you want some more wine? Mm, yes, please. <laughs> Mm, more. When I say stop... Stop! <laughs> Thank you. I didn't know that you loved to drink red wine so much. Mm, I simply just love it. Ah, it means I know one more of your little secrets. Friends, we are gathered today to thank our colleagues Andriy Popovich and Yana Matvienko for their hard work professionalism and their creative ideas. Let's hope they show and grow their talents in their new place. Andri, here's a small gift from all of us. It was planned for you only, but I think it'll make both of you very happy. Bravo! Bravo! <laughs> Bravo. Thank you. Risha. What? What did the cardiologist say? Have you been to the cardiologist? Mm -hmm. Are you feeling unwell? Don't worry, it was just a planned visit. The doctor said that everything is fine. 
didn't you know that he had an appointment? Ah, uh, I thought it was scheduled for next month. I must have been mistaken. What if his disease suddenly got worse? Well, I think Risha wouldn't hide it from us like that. I have everything under control. His pressure, his medicines. Don't worry, Mom. Oh, God. What did you want to talk to me about? About Andre? Andre is very good. He is smart and sensitive. I think that there are few people like him. He deserves to be happy more than anybody else. Of course he does. Andre loves you. But you're making a fool out of him. You agreed to marry him, and then you changed your mind. One day you smile at him, the next day you don't answer the phone. I can't see him suffering. He did so much for you. Even now, he abandoned the job that he likes, his native town, to go to another country all because you need it. He shouldn't suffer anymore. Enough is enough. If you have a heart and not a stone, you should be nice to him and love him. Do you understand? Just love him. Yana went with Andri. Yes, she did tender her resignation letter. Did you tell her? No. No time. It's for the better. What? Did she say she loved Andri? No, she didn't say that. Maybe it's not too late. I understand that the situation is weird. Yana left her job and went to Krakow with Andri. But on the other hand, she hasn't married him yet. I won't insist, but you should decide what to do next. Den. I wish I knew what the right decision was. I asked Garrick to find a good apartment for us, and he found three for us. We only have to choose, then he'll sign the agreement and pay the advance. Okay. Good. So we're looking at two apartments right by the studio. We'll be able to walk there. Hmm, cool. The third one is in the center. No, let's live by the studio. Okay. So here's the first option. A modern, spacious apartment, but one of the bedrooms doesn't have a door. The second option? The rooms are small, but separate. It's also modern and well-repaired. The third one is in the center. But I think it's worse than the previous two. I don't know. You decide. Don't you care? I want you to choose the apartment yourself, so that you'll feel cozy and comfortable in it. 
Fine, I understand. I'll do it myself. Andri, I actually like the first one the most. Is it far away from the Vistula? I don't know. Let's see. Good morning, everybody. I won't have breakfast because I'm late for a meeting with Timothy and Yana's leaving the country, so we need to review the format of the show Beauty at the Plant. You wanted to go so much, you insisted. Is it today? I forgot about it. I must have mixed it up. What do I do? I can't reschedule the meeting with Timothy as he will stay in Tricassi for only one day and his schedule is very tight. I need to go. I'll just go to the orphanage some other time. Have a good trip. Thank you. Everything is clear with her. Where is Risha, by the way? Bon appétit. person named Andrei Popovich, who I recalled was Yana's groom, came to me and asked about the miscarriage during the crash. But not Anna's, instead Yana's. Uh, was Yana pregnant as well at that time? No, she was not. Andrei was mistaken. The members of the Matvienko family. The members of your family. Lesia Krylenko, her girlfriend and colleague from the office. Andrei Popovich, her sister Yana's boyfriend. And that's it. There's nothing suspicious. Anna called her. She called her sister, as well as her boyfriend, Andrei Popovich. Andrei Popovich? Hello. This is... Rihri Dobrovolsky. I want to talk to you. No, not over the phone. We urgently. We need to meet. Risha, where are you going? We're having breakfast. Lara, I need to settle one affair if you'll let me. Tell me the truth. Did you see a doctor? Are you feeling worse? No. Lara, I'm feeling fine, really. I need to go on business. To sign some papers. I'll be back soon. Will you go to the orphanage with us then? I will try. But if I get delayed, go on without me. I'll come later on my own. Goodbye. Petro, I found everything out. I found out Lada was fired from the art school. She doesn't give lessons or sell handmade works anymore for that matter. Nobody has seen her for a while. Let's hope that she's far away from Cherkasi. My congratulations. Yes, you're welcome. Bye. Hi, Hannah. I... Good afternoon, Lesia. Studied your ideas for a while and found some of them quite interesting, especially the slogan, build your happiness. Won't you be against us using it by any chance? I'm all for it, actually. <laughs> Super. I'll show it to the management. Then I hope they'll pay you a bonus. If you come up with some new ideas, please bring them in, okay? I, I have a wagon full of ideas. <laughs> Super. Yes. 
you were on that scandalous video with Anna. Why do you think so? Let's not play cat and mouse here. Tell me the truth. Were you or were you not the one in there? If I say no, will you believe me? How long have you had the relationship with Anna? <sighs> or maybe they never stopped. Am I right? Are you perhaps still dating? I see. She was unfaithful to Dennis with you. Was the baby that she lost in the crash your baby? It is, isn't it? Answer me now. Why don't you just ask your daughter-in-law? I'll... I'll find out the truth anyway, for sure. With your help or without it. Help yourself, kids. They're very tasty cookies. There's enough for everyone. What a good idea it was to bring homemade cookies. Thanks. Come to us again. Bring Zana with you. She does very well with our kids. Sure, we'll do that. She'll bake some more. Sasha. Sasha, why did you take so much? You shouldn't. Your tummy will hurt. Hmm? Uh -huh. Did Risha call you? No. But he promised to come. Markovich, you scared me. What did I do wrong this time? You were unfaithful to my son. What's that? Don't pretend. I know that you were betraying Dennis long before the wedding. You got pregnant from another man. I know who the father of the baby really was. <laughs> Did you hear that from some gossip again? You shouldn't believe those things. Your lover was. Andrei Popovich. I talked to him. He told me everything. It's in your own interests to tell me all the truth. Andrei made everything up. He just wants to set me up. Maybe Yana talked him into it. She just won't calm down. Do you think the only person I talked to was Andre? I have loads of compromising materials against you. Quiet now? Ah, you have nothing to say. Then allow me. I will. I will call Dennis right now. 
Yana, Andre, and your mother to come to me here now. The conversation will be very interesting. Do you want to know the truth, Ryori Markovich? I'll tell you. My name is really Yana Matvienko. When my sister and I were at the hospital, I paid a fair amount to the plastic surgeon. And he transformed my face into my sister's. Everybody believed that I was Anna. And then Dennis married me. You. You. Finally. Hello? Can you send an ambulance? It can't be. Are you sure this is Victor? Sadly, there is no mistake. I thought Victor went on a business trip. I called him a hundred times. <laughs> then I thought that he found another girlfriend and stopped calling me. Let me ask you, did Victor have enemies? Was Victor murdered? Well, we're investigating a couple of versions. Yes, he had enemies. He had some problems with his business recently. Some clients were robbed and... And they threatened Victor to compensate the losses. Do you know their surnames? He also had problems with the competitors. He said that they would be happy to get rid of him. He also had some business with local bandits. I kept warning him that it won't end in a good way. I... I see. Halina, I'll... I'll just call you later. Thank you for your cooperation. It's too late. Where could he have put it? He isn't answering the phone or texts. He's behaving like a small child. Ryuri Markovich, do you hear me? Help somebody! Ryuri Markovich, don't die, please! Risha! 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 I Risha. came home and he was lying here! Risha! I called the ambulance, but it's still not here! Risha! Oh. Don't touch him before the ambulance comes! Oh. My son! Katri. Risha! Risha! Oh. Just be careful. I beg you to be careful. It's so horrible. 
My hands are still shaking. It's good that you called the ambulance in time, Anna. You saved Risha's life for the second time. Did I save him? The doctor said there was a pulse. It means that they can save him. It's all thanks to you, Anna.